today I'm going to show you how to add and subtract um, fractions with unlike denominators and I'm going to show you my method of rewriting the problem vertically. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. First thing, let's rewrite the problem one half and two eighths vertically. All right, and you'll see why that I like this method so well in a moment. So we're going to come over here and we're going to find the LCM and that stands for least common multiple. So in order to find the least common multiple, we're going to look at these two denominators, uh, two and eight. All right, let's just make a little chart here, two and eight. We want to list out the multiples for these numbers so that we can find what is the least common of both of these. All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten. You can just list out a few. And then on the next one, eight, 16, 24. I can go ahead and stop because I realize that the eights are in common. So eight is going to be my LCM. Now, that's going to be important over here because now I have a new denominator and I can use the 8 as that denominator for both of these. So in this step, we're showing how to make equivalent fractions. So you, it doesn't matter if you do the first one, the top one or the bottom one uh, first. I'll just start here at the top. How do you get from a 2 to an 8? Well, you multiply it times 4. So whatever you do to the bottom, do the same to the top. All right, so 1 times 4 is 4, and now we've just made an equivalent fraction. 1 half means the same thing as 4 eighths. Let's do the same here. How do you get from an 8 to an 8? It's just times 1, isn't it? So times 1 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Now, Two eighths, of course, means two eighths. And anytime you have one with the same denominator, you know you're just going to carry it over. Now, the next step is to add, make sure you're looking at your sign, and we're going to add the fractions. Numerators can be added. Four plus two is six. Your denominators stay the same. Okay, so in this situation, six eighths, it's not simplified. So what you're thinking is, I need to think of a factor, the greatest factor that you can use to divide using both of these um, numbers. And it has to divide evenly. And the number that will work is two. So whatever you do to the top, do the same to the bottom. Numerator, denominator, do the same. So six divided by two equals three. And 8 divided by 2 equals 4. All right, so your uh, problem of 1 half plus 2 eighths equals 3 fourths. Let's look at another example together. All right, so let's look at this example. Always rewrite it vertically, my method. I like it this way. It just seems to flow. So 2 thirds plus two-fifths. All right, so we've written it up and down. All right, so we're gonna write the L, C, M. Our denominators are three and five. Three and five. I may need this a little bit longer. All right, so listing out three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and let's list out some multiples for 5. 5, 10, 15. Hey, I can stop. I see two that are in common. So let's do it. Five, 15 and 15, and this is going to be my LCM. All right. So now that I have an LCM, I can come over here and use that as my denominator. So rewriting the problem using the LCM of 15 to make equivalent fractions. So how do you get from a 3 to a 15? Multiply times 5. So multiply both your numerator and your denominator 
times 5 times 5. So this would be 10. And then when you come down here, notice how do you get from a 5 to a 15? Times 3 times 3. And so 2 times 3 is 6. All right, so we've made these equivalent fractions. And always check your sign before you add or subtract. Make sure that you, you know what you're doing here. All right, add your numerators. 10 plus 6 is 16. And your denominator will stay the same. All right, so let's look at this one. 16 fifteenths is an improper fraction. Most likely your teacher's not going to want you to turn in your assignment and your paper with improper fractions. So to simplify this, you're going to change this back to a mixed number. 16 divided by 15 is 1, because 15 will fit in there one time. There will be 1 left over, and 15 is your denominator. All right, so your final answer is 1 and 1 fifteenths. Let's look at another one. All right, so now let's look at a subtraction example. Rewrite the problem vertically. 7 eighths minus 1 sixth. Okay, so let's find the LCM. And your denominators are 8 and 6. And let's list out the multiples. You just skip counting. 8, 16, 24, 32. Let's see if that's enough. And 6, 12, 18, 24. And we can stop there because we see the two numbers that are in common, 24 and 24. So this is going to be our LCM and this is going to be our new denominator over here. Now, Let's rewrite the fractions using the LCM of 24 and making equivalent fractions. So how do you get from an 8 to a 24? Times 3. So multiply times 3 and times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. And how do you get from a 6 to a 24? That would be times 4. So do the same to your numerator, times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Now, we have made equivalent fractions. 7 eighths means 21 over 24. 1 6 means the same as 4 over 24. We're ready to complete the problem. Notice this is subtraction. This is a very common error for students to, you know, add instead of subtracting. So make sure that you're watching that sign. We're subtracting. Now, 21 minus 4 is 17, and your denominator stays the same. Now, on this one, this one is already in the sim most simplest term. Is the number one is the only number that will go into both 17 and 24. So let's try one last one. All right, so let's do this last one together. Rewriting the problem vertically, 3 fourths minus 5 twelfths. Okay, come over here and find your LCM, looking at your denominators, 4 and 12. List out your multiples for 4, 4, 8, 12. Okay, so here's one. This is going to be an easy one, right? If we're listing out the multiples, we really don't even have to go past 12, do we? Because we realize that 12 it's going to be the LCM for these numbers. All right, so now come over and let's make equivalent fractions. So 12 is our new denominator. And this one is going to be like, like that first one where 
this is just times one times one, right? It's just copy it on over. Okay, so you know that that is just bring it on over. But how do you get from a 4 to a 12? Well, that's times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So here we've made equivalent fractions and we're ready to solve the problem. Always watch your sign. Subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4 and your denominator stays the same. Now here's another situation where 4 twelfths needs to be simplified. What would be your greatest factor that can be divided um, both top and bottom? You could use 4, couldn't you? Now if you use 2, it wouldn't be your greatest and you'd have to simplify again. So let's use your greatest factor that can go into both of those. Divided by 4, divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. All right, so I'll work myself into a hole here, but here's your answer, one third. <laughs> All right, bye, hope this helped.